Good morning everyone. Now we come to mixtures. Now what are mixtures? Mixtures are actually substances that contain two or more elements or compounds that are in close contact and they are mixed together in any proportion. Air is an example of a mixture. How air it contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor and certain other gases in very small amount. Yes, milk is also another example of uh, the mixture. Then we have gunpowder. Yes, gunpowder it contains potassium nitrate, sulfur and coal. Now mixtures, the components of the mixtures, they can be separated by simple mechanical means. Now mixtures, I told you yesterday, they are of two types, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixtures means where the composition of that mixture is uniform or same throughout. Let's take the example of a uh, mixture of uh, water and sugar, yes? When we dissolve sugar in water, it mixes thoroughly. Yes, now if we take out, once the sugar is dissolved in water, if we take out a little of that solution in a spoon, it will have the same composition as the liquid that is there in the glass. So that is what we mean when the composition is same or uniform throughout. Then in case of heterogeneous mixtures, yes, the composition, it is not the same throughout the mixture. How so? Like in case of muddy water. Yes, uh, there are different parts. Like you know, one part you will pick up the muddy water or you will like you know, try to see it. There will be certain pebbles. In another part of it will only be like you no know, uh, little mud with water. Even in the case of like you no know, common salt and uh, let's take sand. Yes, if there is a mixture of common salt and sand. Yes, there is a boundary between us. So you will pick up like, no, uh, this is an example like, no, near the seas when we like, no, purify salt. So like, no, when certain places there would be more amount of salt in certain places, there would be more amount of sand. So heterogeneous mixture. Yes, that is where the composition is not the same or uniform throughout the mixture. Now we come to the properties of mixture. Now the first property, a mixture can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. I just not told you all about it. Yes, homogeneous which has uniform composition. An example of a mixture I told you all just now, sugar in water. Then if we took a liquid liquid mixture, then it would be detol in water, water and milk, alcohol in water, yes. They have uniform composition throughout. Yes, air is also a homogeneous mixture. Then heterogeneous. Heterogeneous, I told you all, muddy water. If we take in case of liquid liquid mixture, then it can be oil and water. There is proper demarcation. Like no, they are separated. Yes, demarcated. They have boundaries between the two. Then we come to the second property. Constituents of a mixture can be separated by physical methods such as filtration, evaporation, magnetic sub separation, sublimation. There are many more. We will be studying about these separation methods later. So just now the constituents of a mixture. Like suppose we take a mixture of iron fillings and sulfur. Not a compound. A mixture. Okay. And iron fillings. So if you bring a magnet, the iron filling will get attracted to the magnet, yes, so sulphur can be separated. Then if you bring carbon disulfide solution, yes, and so the sulphur, it will dissolve in it, yes, so iron fillings can be separated. So constituents of a mixture can be separated by physical methods. Now we come to the third property. That is, in the preparation of mixture, neither energy is given out or it is absorbed. Yes, why this happens? Because there is no formation of a new substance. And the sixth one is also related to the third one. In formation of mixture, no chemical reaction occurs. Now, when there is like no, uh, no energy given out, no energy being absorbed, there is no formation of a new substance. 
chemical reaction is where the reactants they react to form products so in case of mixtures there is no chemical reaction occurring or taking place okay then we come to the fourth one the composition of a mixture is not fixed that is in case of heterogeneous mixtures the composition is not the same throughout yes the fifth one a mixture has no definite melting or boiling point yes the sixth one as i said the formation of a mixture no chemical reaction occurs because there is nothing new being formed in air nothing new is being formed in milk which is made up of water proteins fats there is nothing new being formed so there is no chemical reaction that occurs in the formation of a mixture yes the mixtures they can be divided into various types depending upon the physical state of its constituents the first one solid solid mixture here ammonium chloride and sodium chloride yes uh, both of them it is a mixture then sand and sugar or salt and sand these are examples of solid solid mixtures then the second one solid liquid mixture salt in water sugar in water these are example of solid liquid mixture then solid gas mixture that is when air is trapped in the pores of soil particles that is solid gas mixture then liquid gas mixture that is oxygen or carbon dioxide present in the water that is example of liquid gas mixture then the fifth one gas gas mixture that is air it is a mixture of different gases yes then the last one liquid liquid mixture here it is water and dettol water and milk oil and water all examples of liquid liquid mixture i hope the topic today is clear in case any doubts do let me know thank you